look at these animals here. What do they have all in common? You might say, well, they are all pretty hairy. Yeah, you might be right. They all have thick hair or fur. But here is the interesting part. These animals can survive in extreme cold conditions, the kind of places where humans would really struggle to manage. Now, how do they do it? These animals have a unique natural mechanism of staying warm during these colder months. Now, humans saw an opportunity in this and thought, why not use this natural mechanism to keep ourselves warm too? So, how did they make that happen? That's what we are going to explore in this chapter, how a sheep designed to survive in freezing climates inspired us to use its natural way of staying warm to help humans do the same. Let's jump right in. Sheep have this amazing natural mechanism to stay warm. They are covered in thick hair that acts as an insulation against cold. But what does insulation actually mean? It means that this thick hair traps their body heat, keeps it inside and not letting it escape through the fur. Pretty fascinating, right? Yep. Now, this thick hair, which is soft, thin, curly and flexible, is known as wool. You'll also find wool on goats and a few other wild animals. Wool is a natural fiber that helps these animals stay warm even in extreme cold conditions. Now, there are two types of wool. One is known as coarse wool and the other is known as soft wool. Wool fibers, the kind we use, are mostly taken from soft and thin wool. Now, to make this wool even better, farmers use something called selective breeding. But what exactly is selective breeding? It's a method where farmers choose the certain sheep with desirable traits like having soft and fine wool and breed them together. Over time, this process results in sheep that produce the best quality fibers. Pretty clever, isn't it? Most of the wool available in the market comes from the sheep. But wool is also obtained from the hair of other animals. Let's dive into a detailed breakdown of different animals that give us wool. First, we have the most common uh, type of sheep, sometimes called the tannery sheep, which provides the most widely used wool. These sheep are found everywhere in the world except for extremely cold regions like Antarctica and Arctic. Next up, we have Angora goat, which is found in Jammu and Kashmir. The wool obtained from this goat is known as mohair. It's known for being very silky and shiny. Then there is goat of Kashmir. As the name suggests, it is, it is known as the goat of Kashmir. And as the name suggests, it is found in the regions of Jammu and Kashmir again. This goat gives us the famous pashmina wool and it is one of the most prized type of wool in the world. It is incredibly soft and it's luxurious. Moving beyond sheep and goat, we have llama, a domestic animal found in the llama, a domestic animal found in the South America. From llama, we get llama wool, which is again warm and lightweight. Here we have this cute looking another South American animal known as alpaca, which is again a domestic animal and uh, the wool from alpacas is called alpaca wool, which is again very soft and durable. Yes, you know this guy. Finally, we have camels which are found in the desert uh, regions. From camel, we get camel wool which is warm, soft and often used for coats and blanket. Each of these animals contribute to a variety of wool available, making it such a versatile and widely used material. So, to summarize, here are the key points. Animals like sheep, goat, camels, llamas and alpacas have thick hair of uh, allowing them to survive in extreme cold conditions where humans struggle. Humans observed this natural insulation and started using it to keep themselves warm. Sheep are the most common source of wool found globally except in Arctic and Antarctic regions. They have two types of wool, soft, coarse, there are two types of wool, coarse and soft wool. 
Farmers improve wool quality through selective breeding where they choose sheep with desirable traits like soft and fine wool to breed over time. It's not just sheep that produces wool, there are other wool producing animals like Angora goat, goat of Kashmir, llama, alpaca and camel. In this chapter further, we are going to explore or in the next video, we are going to explore how exactly this process of wool making is done.